Lala Legacy, and welcome to Re Alistair Plus Plus. So, um, we're just gonna call it Re Alistair. Anyways, <laughs> I've had this game on my two playlist for a really long time, like probably since I first started my YouTube channel, which was years ago. So, uh, this game is pretty old. I'm sure you've seen it before. Um, but. I'm so excited, I finally got around to it, so let's just start a new game! <laughs> Heal, please! You have Fiona Wings cast Holy Light. Thanks! No problem! But are you sure, or are you really sure we can do this? What do you mean? <laughs> Abby of the Sword uses Blade of a Hundred Strikes! We've been fighting for so long, I think this boss might be too much for us. Are you kidding? He hardly has any HP left! Abby of the Sword uses Swift Slash! But I'm almost out of MP and I don't have any more recovery potions! Maybe we should train more before we try this boss again. But I really want the Blessed Stone! Abby of the Sword uses Blade of 100 Strikes. Besides, it's almost out of HP! I bet I could get it with one more attack. But aren't you out of skill points? Don't worry, it'll take only a minute to recharge and I can take him down with another Swift Slash. If you say so. Alright, all charged up. Here we go! Abby of the Sword uses Swift Slash. Alistair uses Blade of Darkness. Alistair has defeated the Troll of Mount Morning. Alistair has recovered a blessed stone. What the f was that? Hey, you, Alistair! Hey? Huh? That was my kill, you fuck! Ah! The center! Oh. Abby, calm down before you get a warning from the global moderator. Yeah, Abby. You don't want to be. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want the mods to come down on you. Shut up. You're the reason I'm mad in the first place. Oh, and why is that? You know very well. Oh, uh, you stole my kill! And you know that Blessed Stone is rightfully mine. Meh, the way I see it, I saved you from getting killed in that boss battle. Saved me? He was about to strike, and you were too busy powering up to notice. And from the looks of your friend's stats, she doesn't have enough MP to resurrect you. If I hadn't come along when I did, you'd find yourself waking up in some start town with 15% less experience. You're welcome! I'm not thanking you, idiot! Fiona and I were doing just fine on our own, and I want that blessed stone. Well, it's mine. No, it's mine, and I want it back! Abby, or Rui, I don't know why I was seeing that as an A. Rui of the Sword has challenged Alistair to a duel. Are you, or are you sure you want to do this? Don't tell me you're scared. I just feel bad for beating you down, that's all. Well, you don't have to worry about that. If you insist, Alistair has accepted Rui of the Sword's challenge. Connecting to PUP Arena. Disconnected from server, quitting game. I stare at the screen in shock for a few moments, trying hard not to let out a scream. Finally, I slam my hands down on the table. The keyboard in front of me shakes, and a student using the computer next to me stares at me in surprise. What? I glare at him, and he quickly looks away. Thought so. The computer lab is surprisingly empty right now. I glance at the clock on the wall. Lunch will be over in ten minutes. Figures, I always lose track of time when I'm playing Rivenwell online. Still, darn this school's spotty internet connection. I'll bet I, or I'll bet I, or that I automatically forfeited that duel. That Alistair jerk must think I'm some sort of coward. I refresh the screen, but the blinking message on my monitor informs me that there's still no internet connection. Ugh. What if it's not a clean dis or disconnect? Alistair could be hacking away at poor defenseless Rui. I bet he would, too. I have to get back online right now. But it's not like refreshing my screen over and over is going to make things magically work. I need an expert. I scan the computer lab, looking for someone who might know what they're doing. Aha! 
At the far end of the lab, leaning back in a dark corner, a guy is typing away furiously on his machine. I think I've seen him before. He's in here a lot, especially when the computer games club is, has meetings. I quickly approach him and flash my most charming smile. Hello! He doesn't respond. Um, hello? I heard you the first time. Then why didn't you answer me? I did. I nodded. Uh, no you didn't. No, you just weren't paying attention. Is this conversation going anywhere? Ugh, this guy is so rude. No wonder he spends so much time with computers. I bet he doesn't even have a girlfriend. Um, yeah, you're at the computer games club, right? He raises an eyebrow as if I just asked a painfully stupid question. I'm the president of the computer club, or computer gaming club, Travis. Or haven't you noticed? Uh, oh, I didn't know. I'm surprised. You're always here in the lab playing your silly little online game while you, or while we're meeting. But I suppose you never bother to pay any attention to us, though. Otherwise, you would have known. R right. How on earth do the other members put up with this guy? So, you know how to fix computers, right? His eye twitches, only slightly, but it's obvious that he's annoyed. Maybe. Well, the internet is down. Travis let out a long sigh, rubbing the sides of his head slowly before he turns to face to me. Listen, uh, Marui. Yeah, Marui. He shakes his head as if he doesn't really care. Fixing computers does not work the way you think it does. He measures each word out slowly and carefully as if he's speaking to a small child. Ugh, what should I do? Um, I'm gonna fucking argue with him, cuz fuck you. I know how computers work. I'm just asking to see if you can get the internet working again. Is that too much to ask? You know what? Yes. Yes it is. Because it's not my network, okay? Oh, so all the times that you were co or that there were computer problems during your club hours and you rushed to fix or rushed off to fix it, it magically became your network? Believe it or not, I was paying attention. Fixing a computer issue is different from rebooting a network connection. But seeing as you hold so much faith in me, I'll see what I can do about the internet connection if you can solve a quick, a quick puzzle for me. A puzzle? Yes. Imagine you're, or you're in one of your silly online games, and there are two classes, knights and demons. Knights and demons are exactly the same in all ways but one. Knights always tell the truth, and demons always lie. So? You run into two of these guys, and you know that one must be a knight, and one must be a demon. How? He rolls his eyes. You just do. Anyway, you're only allowed to ask one yes or no question. How do you figure out which is the knight and which is the demon? Um, you ask one of them if he's the knight? Wrong. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get to class. I suggest you do the same. Wait! Is there even a right answer? Hmm, I wonder. He grabs a messenger bag from the ground, er, from the ground, slings it over his shoulder, and walks off. Before I have any time to think about his puzzle any longer, the warning bell rings. I grab my books and dash off to class. I slide into the only empty seat left in the class, just as the bell rings. Whew, safe. The teacher begins her lecture, and I so or some <laughs> summer I don't know. I can't say that word right now. Ah, summarily ignore her, <laughs> contenting myself with doodling a series of flowers on my handout. Since we've just concluded our section on ancient civilizations, we'll be doing a term project on it. You will be split up into teams of two. Whoever is sitting at the table with you will be your partner. I glance at the person sitting next to me. He's huddled up in the corner, staring mindlessly out the window. Is he sleeping? You and your partner will submit an eight-page report and give a five-minute presentation on the topic of your choosing. I will give you the rest of class to discuss an appropriate topic with your partner. Great. A project with some sleeping kid. He better not make me do all the work. I turn to face him. He appears to be awake, but he's completely spaced out. Uh, hey. 
I waved my hand, trying to get his attention. I'm Marui. We're supposed to be working together. Yeah. So what's your name? Shiro. Cool. Nice to meet you. He's still not looking at me. In fact, he's staring so hard out the window, I'm starting to wonder if the meaning of life was written on it or something. Are you okay? His face flushes in bright red. I'm fine. You don't look okay. Are you sick? N no, I just... He glances to the side and shifts uncomfortably. Ooh, we should pick a topic. Is there anything you like? Uh, I don't know. Is there anything you want to talk about? Not really. Really? Uh, yeah. Another uncooperative guy, just my luck, running into three jerks in a row. At least Shiro isn't mocking me. It's obvious that Travis was just making fun of me with that stupid riddle of his. No matter what I ask, those dumb demons will always lie, so how on earth can I tell which is which? It's impossible! W what? Shiro looks at me, a bit startled by my sudden declaration. Oh, I'm sorry, I was just thinking. About what? Knights and demons? Demons? Well, not demons exactly. Liars. Knights always tell the truth and demons always lie. Oh, you're supposed to ask what the person, or would the person with you claim to be a knight? Shiro's face suddenly brightens. Huh? It's a riddle, right? One always tells the truth and the other always lies. Yeah? So you would ask, or you would have to ask, would the person with you claim to be a knight? If you ask directly, both the truth teller and the liar would claim to be a knight, so you have to ask about the other one. If the knight answers, he will tell you truthfully that the demon with him will claim to be a knight. And if the demon answers, he will lie and say that the person with him won't claim to be a knight. And then you can tell the difference. Shiro smiles proudly as he explains the riddle to me. Hmm, I think I get it. It's a little complicated, but it makes sense, I think. Still, you're pretty smart to figure that out. Huh? <laughs> no, I just heard it before. I really like riddles, or er, puzzles, you see. It's a really well-known riddle. I see. Shiro, or Shiro, Mirui, I trust that you're getting, if you're getting all chatty like this, you've already chosen a topic. From across the room, the teacher eyes us carefully. Oh, sorry! I turn back to Shiro. Well, we should pick a topic, huh? Yeah. He's back to his recluse self again. Ooh, we really need to talk about this project, but he seems like he doesn't want to talk. Let's just suggest a topic, then. Why don't we do our report on Greece? I thought studying that was kind of fun. Kinda. Hmm. Greece is a really wide topic. We should probably narrow it down. Okay, what about Athens? That's an important Greek city, and it's focused enough or it's a focused enough topic for us, right? That sounds good. I scribble down Athens in bold letters in my notebook. At least we have a topic now. The bell rings and we quickly gather up our books. Um what's up? Shiro hands me a folded sheet of notebook paper. Oh, what is this? It's my email address. We should stay in touch. Oh, good idea. I tear the sheet in half, scribble my email address down, and hand it to him. Here you go! He nods and smiles a bit before walking off, clutching his books to his chest. As soon as he leaves, I tear down or I tear off down the hallway towards the computer lab. As I turn the corner I nearly collide with, or collide with another student, but I quickly skid to a halt and wind my way around him. Sorry! This month, the school is offering an after-school work program for students who want to make extra money. It's only menial tasks like mailing email or envelopes or calling people to ask for donations, but I could always use the spare cash. Even though I get allowance on the weekend, more money couldn't hurt. However, the work program doesn't start for another 30 minutes, so now is the perfect time to check on how Rui is doing. I wait impatiently outside the computer lab as students file out. Finally, I rush in and grab the nearest computer. I wonder if the internet is working again. Worried about your game. Travis is staring, or standing in the doorway smirking at me. And why do you care? 
I don't. You just look terribly anxious. I was wondering if it had something to do with that game of yours. Hmm. Well, I don't feel like telling you. And by the way, I figured out the answer to that riddle of yours. No doubt. It's a fairly common one, after all. I was a bit disappointed that you hadn't heard it already. But I'm no deal breaker. The internet works now, so you can have fun. <laughs> Did you fix it? No, I just waited, and it came back on on its own. What did you think I could actually do about it? So you didn't hold up your end of the bargain. Neither did you, I assume. Or are you telling me that someone else didn't tell you, er, or are you telling me that someone else didn't tell you the answer to my riddle? I thought so. See you around. Ugh, what a conceited jerk. I hope he gets his someday. Logging in. Current promotion, trade in 50 fluff a bit paws for a lucky or for a piece of lucky armor. Rui of the Sword is logged on. Game announcement. The PUP match you participated in with player Alistair has been cancelled due to inactivity from both parties. Rui, are you okay? What happened? Hey Fiona, my internet connection dropped. I just got back on. I was so worried about you! Sorry. So if your connection dropped, does that mean that you automatically forfeited to, or to Alistair? Um, it doesn't look like it. Apparently he didn't do anything. Maybe he didn't want to waste such, or want such an easy win. I don't think so. If he was willing to steal our kill, he'd definitely accept an auto-forfeit. Oh, then maybe he logged off? Maybe. It seems weird that we'd both drop at the same time. Maybe you just got lucky. What's wrong? Just thinking... Hmm? But what if his connection dropped at the same time because we're both on the same network? I don't understand. I lost my connection because my internet died. What if Alistair was using the same internet connection as me? Uh, um, I guess that's a possibility. Where are you? At school. The school's net went down for a while, so we- or so he would have been logged off like me. Wait, you think Alistair goes to the same school as you? Yeah, it all makes sense. People can lose internet connections for all sorts of reasons. What if his mom told him it was time for bed or to go to bed or something? No, it's too much of a coincidence. It has to be someone at the school. If you say so, but I think that's a stretch. No, it's perfect. It means I'll be able to exact my revenge in real life. Um, how do you plan to do that? What? If you do manage to find him, what exactly are you going to do? It's not as if you could just challenge him to a duel in real life. Uh, well, I guess I'll figure that out later. But the most, er, but the important part is revenge. Are you sure about that? The guy deserves to pay for what he did. It's only an item in a game, though. It's not about the item, it's about being courteous online. I think that's a lot, or that's a lot to ask for people on the internet. Hmm. Well, just because it's the internet doesn't mean we should give up standards of decency. I guess so. But you really shouldn't jump to conclusions, okay? You might do something brash. Oh, when have I ever done anything brash? N never mind. Anyway, I just wanted to make sure uh, Rui wasn't dead. I've got to get going now. Um, I'll see you later. Later. Rui of the Sword has logged off. Logging out of Rivenwell. I log off Rivenwell online and quickly bring up my school's network list. In the name of trust and honesty, the school keeps close tabs on all of the students' computer usage. I don't know how or how much trust it shows, but it's really handy for seeing who's on the network and when. Looking at this afternoon's logs, only four students were logged on when the internet dropped. Naturally, I'm one of them. Shiro was on too. Huh. He doesn't seem like a gamer though. He was probably just checking his email. Some guy named Derek Naveen. His name sounds familiar, but where have I heard it before? And... and... Travis? Ugh, of course he was online. He was even sitting right behind me. I wouldn't be too surprised if he was Alistair. They both have rotten personalities. But Travis didn't seem too interested in Rivenwell online. In fact, he said that it was a silly game. 
Maybe he doesn't play it after all. I guess that leaves Derek. I click on his student profile. Apparently, he's on the student council. I guess that's where I've heard his name before. He's on the basketball team as well. They're practicing right now, so he's probably there. I hurry down the hallway and stop outside the school gym. I can hear shouts and, e er, and the echoing boom of the basketball. Slowly, I crack the door open and peer in. But that is all the time that I have for this episode, guys. So if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And also comment down below and tell me what you think of this game. And if you want to see me keep playing it. Because, yeah, like I said in the beginning, this game has been on my two playlists since I first started my channel. Anyways... Yeah, so, if you haven't already subscribed, by subscribing you are becoming part of a legacy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!